All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Beamer's Sun Garage, where you're always welcome. If you don't cry like a little baby, we don't like crybabies here. So this is part three of our Mr. Obvious and part one, which was Mr. Obvious. Part two was what grinds my gears. So this is part three together, Mr. Obvious and what grinds my gears together. So what's obviously is it snowed. And what grinds my gears is the snow gets on the windshield and then the wiper blade gets all kicked up. Oh, I can't stand that. I hate that. Oh, it grinds my gears. I can't, what the hell is going on here? Oh, I can't stand it when my wiper blades gets clogged up. That's what grinds my gears. And then no internet. Yeah, Mr. Obvious, you know, obviously you don't have no internet. And then Mr. Grind, and then grind my gears. That grinds my gears! I can't, I don't have no internet. All I got is my cell phone. So I have to get on here with you guys. And complain. Of all the complainers that there is in this world. Can't stand those crybabies. Here, I'll be a crybaby crying on the internet. <laughs> and crying about the snow. But you know, we all got our own demons, you know? <clears throat> I need to move to uh, like Florida or something. I won't say California, because you, know, you guys don't know how California is. I'm Californians, I don't want to be one of them. But, <clears throat> you know, I got my life and I'm gonna live it to the best of my ability. And for you crybabies out there to cry about all oh, He's got a Mustang Mach 1, and I don't have one. Wah! Wah! Go cry to your mama. Maybe she'll buy you one. Maybe you'll get you a Mustang. We don't want to hear about it. That's your problem. You know, my channel is for people that are cool, like cool cars, and, you know, like to watch us have some fun with them. That's what my channel's all about. And for a bunch of crybabies, they want to cry. Oh, he's got... He's got something I don't have. Wah, wah. Oh, he's not keeping it the way I think it should be kept. Wah, wah. Oh, he's got it sitting on some grass. Wah, wah, you know. It's not your car, buddy. You don't own the car, I own the car. I do what I want with it, you don't like it? You can go watch Uncle Tony. I'm sick of it. Sick of you crybabies. Get a life. That's all I can say is get a freaking life. I'm trying not to get stuck here in my driveway. I have got stuck here before I had to get the hearse to pull me out. Now it'd be tow truck. So we're out on the street for our first uh, maiden voyage out here in this frozen tundra. <coughs> but that's it, guys. I mean, come on. Who, who wants a crybaby in their life, you know? I wouldn't want to be that guy's wife. He's coming home. Wah, wah, the guy's got 60 cars over there. And we, I don't have any, honey. That's not right. We'll call the zoning on him, honey. What a bitch. You're, you're just like you've been being a bitch like your old lady. She told you to call the zoning, so you do it. I can't stand you. I wish you'd, I wish you'd all line up at the 1st of February at my house. And I'll punch everyone in the face. Every one of you crybabies, you know, you jealous ass, you know, bitches, you know, I'd like to punch you right in the face. I'd like to punch you right in the eye. Maybe that'll, you know, knock some sense into you. Quit being a bitch, everybody. Quit being a bunch of crybabies and calling and trying to get somebody in trouble. Quit being bitches. Grow up. <coughs> That's it, everybody. So. Those are my complaints. Those are obviously, you know, something wrong with them people, as Mr. Obvious says so. You know he's right. <coughs> and what grinds my gears? Well, you know, if it grinds my gears, it's going to grind yours, the majority of except for the ones that are actually the little bitches doing it, because they're getting off in another way. It's just pitiful. All right, guys. That's it for Mr. Grind Your Gears or Mr. Obvious and what grinds my gears. We'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage. We're actually driving down the road at 28 degrees below zero, minus seven 
an actual temperature. We are driving down the road and this has already been plowed and they've done what they could, you know. So it's better than what it was when my son went out of it, that's for sure. Look at that frozen tongue just blown across the street. Wow. I just drove it and driving through it. Wow, about blowing me off the road, this little car. Glad I got the trunk and the back seat full of junk. <laughs> it blowed me off the street. <clears throat> so we're going to the store and that's it guys. Check out my friend's actions auto parts for you guys that aren't crybabies and jealous. Check out my friend because he's got a junkyard. He's got a whole bunch of stuff that you real crybabies would be crying about. Look, he's just junked that car. He just he just scrapped it. Oh, 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 oh. You know, get a clue, man. Get a clue. He don't care. That's what he does. He sells parts. He's a junkyard. He's got a junkyard. He's allowed to do it. <coughs> and then also Scott Speed Shop for the guys out there that like cool cars, cool hot rods. See you, my friend Scott Speed Shop, Jetta Dive. And that's it. So we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it won't be another Mr. Obvious and what grinds my gears. But I might come back. And yeah, Mr. Obvious might be back and what grinds my gears. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. We're here at the store. Hopefully they're, yeah, they got power. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.